Cleaning an Orenco BioTube Pump Vault screen cartridge can be fun for the whole family. In all seriousness, this can be a pretty nasty job, but one that must be performed occasionally to ensure proper treatment system function. Orenco Bio Vaults are not only used in the early AX20 Advantex systems, but also in pumping and step applications. The instructions contained herein will provide you with the guidance to clean Orenco pump vaults in any applications. The video may not be appropriate for audiences with weak stomachs. Please plan the watching of this video around mealtimes and consider yourself warned. Find us at www.rcworst.com and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Adios. So the next thing we'll do is actually pull the pump and pump vault and clean those. Good idea to shut the pump disconnect breaker off so that he doesn't get his head full of uh, sewage water. He's pulling the pump out now, or at least maybe he is. This we got a nice bountiful bush in front of the in front of the system. So we'll clean the pump in the next one here. All right, so Cass got the pump out here. We are gonna go ahead and clean it. As you can see, you get some bio slime in the screen. It's good to clean that. Plus the pump doesn't look wonderful. Um, so we're gonna start that. You have to clean this over the bio vault area. So it's best to clean it not straight over the pump area or the bio vault area, but in the tank area. So usually you're gonna set the pump up against the lip of the riser or something to support it while you spray it off. Alright, so Cass is going to spray this off for us here. Hopefully I don't get too wet. We're just going to shoot it nice and clean, kind of spin it around. Make sure that it's uh, not new looking, but fairly clean anyway. Get the bio slime off the pump. It's pretty good. All right, so we pulled the float tree out. Sometimes that lower float gets kind of grummy. I don't know if that's a word, but I made it up. So, Cass is going to spray that off here. It usually doesn't impede the movement of that float, but it's a good idea to make sure it's not covered with any nasty stuff. So then he's going to set that back in there. Well, actually, we got to pull the vault first, so we'll do that in a minute. So Cass is pulling the bio vault. This one's pretty nasty, as you can see. So this one we really want to make sure we get cleaned out. If we hadn't cleaned it, we'd probably get um, screen cleaning alarms on this system. So we're going to take it over to the other side. I'm going to let him take it to the septic tank opening, which is on the other side of the tank. And then we're going to spray this off down there. <clears throat> to get it clean. So you want to kind of lay it, I'll let him do the spraying, you want to kind of lay it sort of sideways and just hit all the screening, effluent screen areas along the side and down the middle. And we'll show you a picture of that when it's nice and clean. We basically took the bio vault and laid it across the opening. Cass, uh, held it for me, which is nice to have someone here, and I just sprayed this thing off the best I could, and he turned it as I did that, and so ultimately, and we've already been through this, but ultimately it looks really nice to clean now. There's a few little things on it, but for the most part it's way cleaner than it was when we started. So we're going to spray down the middle and spray it off one more time and then throw it back in. Well, we won't throw it back in, we'll slide it back in. So Cass is going to set this vault down in here, and the critical thing is that you set it all the way down and seat it in the bottom. Now if the vault is really dirty, we will pull out the blue bio vault housing and spray it out and clean it out too, but this one wasn't super bad. So now he's going to set the float tree in, and remember that the vault height and how the float tree is set in the bracket determines the height of the floats and the height of the floats are extremely critical so he just seated the float tree all the way into the bottom of the bracket and seated the vault all the way into the bottom of the or the screen all the way into the bottom of the vault so we've got good float height how they're intended when the system was originally set up 
So we're pretty much good to go. Everything's ready to fire up.